first of all, we always did provide source code at RAD to Granny. So when you bought it, um, you could download the source code. So if someone wanted to modify it, they could. Nobody ever does that. Very, very rare. Why? The reason people are using a library is one of two things. Either they want to save themselves the time or they don't know how to do it. Very often it's the second one, right? If I'm licensing a character animation library, one of the biggest reasons I might do that is because I don't know how to write character animation code. So typically what you end up with is a situation where if your answer to how do I solve problem X is go change the source code, right? You're dead in the water. So if you look at the kinds of things that object-oriented programming does, a lot of times they're like, well, oh, you'll just, you know, subclass this thing or make your own class that inherits from blah, or like their answers to how you solve problems are ridiculous in that <laughs> scenario. The user doesn't want to implement more stuff in the character animation library. They want the character animation model to just have what they need, right? And so this idea that the way that you do things is like, well, I don't really know what the vertices are going to be. I call a function and pass it a buffer and it puts the vertices in there, right? Those sorts of things don't fly. The person needs to be able to know, how do I just access this piece of information directly without having to go through your thing to do it because that's too slow or it's putting it in the wrong format or whatever else is happening. They just wanna be able to interact with the thing directly and make exactly the thing that they want, right? So what we did for two was completely different. We just said, all right, 100% is exposed. So we're just gonna say, here are the data types. This is what we work with. And this is, again, crucial. It's a crucial aspect of library design. Your goal is not to hide everything. It's for you to do the work up front to figure out what you can promise and then promise that. <laughs> that is what makes a library good. If you can go, here are the correct fundamental building blocks, and I'm so sure that I'm gonna expose those to you so that you can use them and I'm never gonna change them on you, right? That's when you know you did your job correctly. The other thing, which is object oriented, I don't know, it's gonna change at any time, who knows what this thing does. That's really just putting a giant sign on your forehead saying you don't actually know how to solve the problem. Because if you did, you wouldn't have to give me that wish wishy wash your answer, right? You would know what the right way to do this thing is and you would be shipping me that. So what we did in two is we said, all right, we're gonna nail, we're gonna get this stuff right. Here's how these things should be done. Here's how these things should be done. And we're gonna expose those. When we say we're gonna build a transform hierarchy, it comes out in this format to you and we've got optimized routines to work with it and you can interact with it directly. You don't have to ask us permission. We don't count on it being anything in particular, right? We're gonna do all this stuff. Anything that we can't guarantee, it's all gonna be flexible. You hand us what vertex format you want and we will work with that vertex format, not the other way around. Right again, none of this object oriented stuff. You don't, we don't hide what the vertex formats are. If we can't guarantee one particular vertex form is correct, we will just work with all of them. And we wrote fast routines to deal with that kind of stuff, right? And, uh, you know, completely unsurprisingly, this product was like a massive success. Like, we had hardly anybody use Granny One, it was in like 10, 20 people. Uh, I don't even know what the number of SKUs is for Granny, but it's like in the thousands. Like, and again, it was just because we just gave them the tools they actually needed. 